Hello everyone, this is Zia Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equations with variable questions. So let's get going. Problem solve d squared y by dx squared plus 1 by x into dy by dx equals to 12 log x by x squared. Given differential equation. d square y by dx square plus 1 by x into dy by dx equals to 12 log x by x square. We know that d is a differential operator whose independent variable is x and d square is d square by dx square. We can write our equation as d square y plus 1 by x into dy equals to 12 log x by x square, right? Now, take this x square to LHS. We'll get x square into d square y plus 1 by x dy equals to 12 log x. We are going to reduce the given equation to Cauchy's equation. As the equation becomes x square d square y plus x square by x into dy equals to 12 log x. Then x square d square y plus when x gets cancelled in the second term, we'll get x dy equals to 12 log x. Now take y common from the two terms of LHS, we'll get x square d square plus x d into y equals to 12 log x, which is Cauchy's equation. See, we are having variable questions, right? Now, we are going to reduce this equation to higher order linear differential equation with constant coefficients by simply making a substitution x equals to e power z then log x to the base e equals to z for x greater than 0. And let theta equals to d by dz. Here theta is a differential operator whose independent variable is z. x d equals to theta. x square d square equals to theta of theta minus 1. Just replace x square the d squared by theta of theta minus 1 and x d by theta and log x by z. Then Cauchy's equation becomes replace x squared d squared by theta of theta minus 1 plus x d by theta into y equals to 12 replace log x by z. You'll get 12 z. Now our equation becomes theta into theta, theta squared minus theta into 1 theta plus theta into y equals to 12z. Minus theta plus theta gets cancelled and we'll get theta squared y equals to 12z. Which is in operator form f of theta into y equals to some function of z. Where f of theta equals to theta squared. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. So now let's find yc and yp. The auxiliary equation is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to, we are having f of theta equals to theta square, right? Replace differential operator by m, so that we will get f of m equals to m square. And our auxiliary equation becomes m square equals to 0, then m into m equals to 0, right? Equate each term to 0, then we will get m equals to 0, m equals to 0. Since I'm just repeating twice, so we'll get m equals to 0, 0 equal roots. 
real and equal. Therefore, m equals to 0, 0 are real and equal roots of our auxiliary equation. Right? We got equal roots. Let's write the complementary function. We know that when two roots are equal, say m1 equals to m2, then yc looks like c1 plus c2 independent variable into e power that equal root into independent variable, right? Now let's write the complementary function. yc equals to c1. Since we are having two equal roots, so we will get two terms under brackets, okay? Into C2Z into E power equal root into Z. This equals to C1 plus C2Z into E power 0 into Z E power 0. This equals to C1 plus C2Z into E power 0 is 1. This equals to C1 plus C2Z. Now let's replace Z. See, this is in, in terms of Z, right? We'll change it in terms of x by replacing z. Replace z by log x to the base e. Then yc becomes c1 plus c2 log x. So this is our required yc. Now let's find particular integral. yp equals to 1 by f of theta into rhs part. Okay. yp is given by 1 by f of theta into rhs part. This equals to we have f of theta theta square and rhs 12z. We can write it as 12 1 by theta square into z. Right. We can split 1 by theta square as 1 by theta into 1 by theta into z. Firstly, we will operate z with 1 by theta. We know that 1 by theta is an integral operator. Then we we'll get 12 1 by theta into integral z dz which is equal to 12 1 by theta into z squared by 2. Split this as 1 by 2 into z squared and take 1 by 2 constant outside or next to 12 by 2. Sorry, next to 12 we will get 12 into 1 by 2 is 12 by 2 into 1 by theta z square. Next we will operate z square with 1 by theta. We will get 6 into integral z square dz which is equal to 6 into z cube by 3. 3 ones are 3 twos are this equals to 2 z cube. Right? Now replace z. Okay? We are having yp equals to 2z cube in terms of z. Let's change it in terms of x. We are having yp equals to 2z cube, right? Now replace z by log x. Then we'll get 2 into log x whole cube. Therefore, yp equals to 2 into log x whole cube. We got yc and yp. Now let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to, we have yc, c1 plus c2 log x. And yp is 2 into log x whole cube. So, this is our required solution. So, we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations with variable coefficients in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.